love is lost and love is found It gets you high then pulls you down It brings you to your knees Then comes and sweeps you off your feet Love is blind but helps you see It makes you cry In a world that keeps tumbling upside down, our true North Star is the ever-abiding love of friends and family. Well, Ellen, John, all you have to do is just turn around and look out. Be brave, turn around. And you'll see that tonight you are surrounded by folks who are over the moon to help you celebrate your life and love together. And I say revel in every moment. Real love is a reassuring whisper in the dark of night. Well, Ellen, John, my wish for you is for a lifetime of reassuring whispers and it's my hope that during the long grand years of your life together may you always know that the other is just an arm's length away and may that knowledge give you the courage to always become the best and the bravest person that you're meant to be ellen john Day in and day out, live knowing, truly, your pure gift to the other. Feels like I'm dreaming Inside this feeling I want to breathe it all vivid color every sunrise it's a beautiful life it's a beautiful
beautiful life It's a beautiful life Good evening everyone. My name is Ada. I'm one of Ellen's and Gus's best friends. <laughs> Although we've only known each other for two years, it feels like we've known each other for so long. I still remember when we first met, I was like, this girl is so beautiful <laughs> and petite. When we hang out, we always talk so much, we forget what we have to do, or if we're driving, <laughs> we'll end up going longer routes because we aren't listening to the maps. <laughs> Not too long ago, Ellen and me took a road trip to Vegas and I can't recall exactly what we were talking about, but somehow we exited the freeway and turned and ended up in the same spot, not once, not twice, but three times until we found our way out. <laughs> that same day, I realized we both have bad memories when we go out because when we came out of Coca-Cola to the parking lot, we went to the floor, we parked, we peeked out, we couldn't find the car, so we went through every single floor <laughs> and back to the first floor we were at and realized the car was there the whole time. <laughs> Lost in circles or whatever happens, we always have a fun time and stories to laugh at. Ellen, thank you for always being the caring, loving, and best friend I can ever ask for. <laughs> You taught me what a real best friend is like and to be less clingy to my boyfriend. <laughs> John, I still remember the first time we met. Uh, we, got, we all got Ding Tai Fung and you ordered three orders of Xiao Hong Bao. <laughs> and I thought this dude must be crazy. He eats so much. But you didn't end up finishing it. <laughs> With your amazing cooking, you're able to bring up Ellen's willingness to try new food. Every time I come over, Ellen and you like to trick me and make me believe your guys' jokes. We wish you success, laughter, and love. You guys are like the perfect couple, such a good partner for each other, especially with the jokes and big hearts you guys have for your family and friends. I'm so thankful to have met you guys and so excited to see you guys grow your family and what's for you in the future. Do you ever wonder where we would have been if we had never met? And I hadn't held you yet. Lately I've been feeling more than just a feeling. I give all that I. Say that I'm your man Sometimes I feel I'm dreaming You're too good to be true I spend all of my hours Just to prove it to you Oh, I was, I thought you said I'm ready. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you like it? Yes, I love it. It's so pretty. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brandon. I'm John's longtime best friend. John, I had one request from Ellen during this speech, and that's to tell you to put your clothes away once they come out of the dryer. <laughs> She's a married woman now and doesn't deserve wrinkled shirts. I did have some jokes about Ellen during the speech, but I didn't want to risk a Will Smith at the Grammys reaction from John. 
All jokes aside, John's the best guy I know. I may be the best man for this wedding, but he truly is the best man in the building. John can make me laugh until my ribs hurt, and I've always been able to be myself around him. He's a good man, and even better cook. And I must say, I reap the benefits of his chef skills over the years. John and I first met at orientation before our freshman year of high school. I remember sitting at the lunch table when I was introduced to him through a mutual friend. And at the time, I was blown away about how good his English was. It was so good, I was about to start calling him John Wayne. I thought to myself, no way this kid's from China. He speaks better English than me. John, it truly meant the world to me that you asked me to be here tonight. I'm beyond proud of you, and tonight you gave me another reason to keep on feeling that way. As life goes on further, and you and Ellen begin to grow in your marriage, I hope you know I have your back as much as you always had mine. Love you, bro. I'll leave you all with this. John found Ellen at the perfect time, and she helped him become a better man in the process. She put joy in his face and meaning in his life, and he fought for her for years, and his persistence paid off big time. I'm lucky enough to have been courtside to witness the growth of your relationship. John is like a brother to me, and Ellen is like a sister, and together you two are my favorite couple I know. There's always something I could learn from you guys. You're loving, generous, compassionate, and always have the best interests of each other at heart. Your commitment to each other throughout these last years has been admirable, and surely that love and commitment are going to continue into this marriage. I'll support your marriage in the best way possible. I'm always here for you guys through thick and thin, and I love you both. Your wedding, this marriage, will be a testimony for others to see what true love looks like. I look forward to the many more years of friendships, big belly laughs, and memories we'll all make together. I hope you have a beautiful marriage and an even better life together. In the open air, we close our eyes and breathe in slowly. Knew we'd get here from the start. Finding magic in the days and nights as they're unfolding. Writing stories with the stars. And the morning speed. Open dreams, and we're right where we belong. I'll go anywhere with you in the sunlight or underneath the moon. All we have is enough. Take my I feel incredibly fortunate to be standing beside you to fulfill our forever promise. One of my favorite memories with you is our trip to China during summer of 2019. During that trip, I truly realized that we're destined for each other. From me going abroad for school and living in different states to you being adopted into a beautiful family, all these steps has led us to meet each other in high school on the other side of the world where we were born. From that trip, I knew I wanted to marry you. I wanted to have you by my side forever and start our family. Our relationship has grown tremendously since it started. I'm very proud of ourselves for having achieved from where we are today, because I know we couldn't have done it without love and support for each other. You have inspired me in many ways. You have helped me grow to appreciate others more because I should not take anything in life for granted. Thank you for being such a great listener when I need someone to talk to. There's no one else that understands me as much as you do. You're also a great snowboarder, and I cannot wait for all the future adventures that we will have together. There's no greater comfort to me than knowing that you'll be the one that I come home to every day, 
the person that I see last falling asleep, the first person I see when I wake up. I promise to scratch it back whenever you need it and to take the dog out when it's cold outside. <laughs> From today onwards, I'll be your husband, but more importantly, I'll always be your best friend and your biggest supporter. Loving you is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. see it. <laughs> John, I can't even put into words how excited I am to marry my best friend. Although I am excited to share this special moment with all the important people in our lives, I am even more excited to start our journey together as husband and wife. When I look at you, I feel at home, at peace, and enough love to last a lifetime. There's absolutely no one else I would rather walk through life with, grow, old, grow a family with, and grow old with. The past three and a half years have been the best years of my life because you support me, you allow me to grow, and you challenge me to be the best version of myself. Little did I know that our freshman speech class would change our life. We have shared so much laughter, tears, and a lot of amazing memories along the way. If I could go back in time and make any changes to our story, I wouldn't change a single thing. I fell in love with you for many reasons, but one thing that stood out to me is how persistent you were in the way that you loved me. You make me feel beautiful, safe, cherished, and valued. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't feel loved by you, and I promise to, ever, to do everything I can to make you feel the same. As your wife, I vow to be loyal and love you no matter what life throws at us. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are as well as the man you continue to become. I vow to not only be your best friend, but to always be your biggest support. I promise to have a heart that is ready to forgive and ask for forgiveness. And lastly, I vow to choose you every day a million times over, not because I have to, but because I want to. Thank you for being unapologetically you and making every good moment greater. I will continue to choose you from this day forward, and I can't wait to begin this next chapter of our lives. I love you and Gus today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. It is my honor and my sweet delight to pronounce as and to present for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. John Wong. Now you may kiss. daughter Ellen, we knew she was special in adopting her with the 30 other families, 
we went to China, there were 30 other families adopting 30 other babies. So I knew she was special because she was always awake and alert, looking around, recording everything in her iron trap brain for later use. John is the son-in-law we all wish for. He is kind, generous, smart, and an all-around awesome human being. I have his parents to thank for their love and sacrifice they have made for him, and for now for their daughter-in-law. So I have a couple of quotes that I wanted to talk about. One was from the movie, When Harry Met Sally. When you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you can't wait for the rest of your life to start. The next is from Dr. Seuss. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is better than your dreams. And then finally, if at first you don't succeed, try doing what your wife told you to do. Today,在大家的见证下,两位新人开始了人生的新篇章,特别要感谢我的亲家,养育了这么好的女儿,感谢他们 举办了如此完美的婚礼，我们家能有这么一位贤良、说说得落落大方的儿媳，是我们家的福气。我很高兴，Allen成为我们家庭的一员。从今天起，你们成为一一个幸福美满的家庭，满足了父母的愿望，有
I want everyone to raise their glasses and cheers to a beautiful day.